What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're back on the SP404 Mark II and again I'm talking about version 2.0. This is a new update that's come out from Roland and it's super super exciting. It's packed full of amazing features. I've already done a video about this, a kind of overview of my favourites. I'll link to that in the top right hand corner. But in this one I'm going to go into detail about the chromatic mode and the changes that have happened with that. Now I didn't actually mention chromatic mode at all in my previous video and it's basically because I didn't want that video to be kind kind of 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes long. I wanted to just do a quick overview and then use more videos to go into details about each individual thing. So this definitely required its own video because there's quite a lot that's been changed and I wanna show you guys a few things as well. So let's get into this with chromatic mode. Now, the first thing that I wanna mention is that chromatic mode has had an update in terms of the way it can play samples back. There is now three different modes that you can use. So I have got a sample here. Okay, and if I go into chromatic mode, you can now use the remain button and you can cycle through three different playback modes. So we've got mono, and that's indicated, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this, but it's indicated by the light being solid on remain. If you hit it again, that goes to legato and you get this kind of slow pulse. And if you hit it again, you get poly, which is a blinking. So three different modes that you can play around with now and they all kind of have different effects depending on whether your samples are gated or not gated or depending on what sample type you're using. So I'm not going to go through every single example but I'm going to try and show you the best I can of these in action. So mono, that's pretty straightforward. That's exactly how you would expect chromatic mode to work. That only plays one note back at a time even if you play another note. So for example, if I was pressing and holding five and then I press seven, it would jump to seven. And I'll do a demonstration of that for you. So even if you're still holding that pad, because it's in mono mode, it will automatically change to the latest one that you've pressed. Okay, let's go into legato. Now legato by definition basically means a smooth transition between notes without any kind of break. So it wouldn't be like changing a chord. It's kind of a lot smoother than that. It's hard to explain. And it's actually hard to get this effect working pretty well with chromatic mode I've found so far with my experiments. So I'm gonna use this chop again and try and show you the best I can now. The problem that you get with this is that you only get the time of the length of chop that you're using to play around with the effect. So say your sample or chop is a second long, you could only play about with the buttons for a second and then it kind of cuts off and then it's hard to get the timing right to play that note again. So hopefully if I show you, you guys will understand what I mean. Let's go ahead and try this. So hopefully there you could hear how the pitch of it was smoothly increasing. But then you can see I'm trying to go back to that note again because I want to trigger it again and it doesn't necessarily work because maybe the sample is still playing and there's some dead space on the end or something. So it's quite complicated to use. I feel that if you wanted to use this, you would have to kind of do each individual thing that you wanted to do separately and then combine them somehow. So. So it's quite an interesting effect, but I don't really know how that's going to be implemented that well. You guys may be able to come up with something far more creative than I'm thinking and find a really good use for that. So let's go into poly mode. Now poly mode is really exciting because it's going to allow us to play chords. This means you can play multiple notes at the same time. And I'll do a quick demonstration here. And I'm actually going to change for this one. I've got a single note here. And I'm going to go into chromatic mode with that and I'm going to press 14, 11 and 6 all at the same time. If I press them individually, you get the individual note. But if I press all three, you can see you can start building chords. And let's try 5, 10, 15. So that's really nice. We can build chords. We could use skip back to sample those to pads. The possibilities really are quite endless with that. So another big update, and this is something you've been begging for, and this is probably the big thing about chromatic mode, is you can now finally use it in conjunction with the pattern mode. That's really, really good news. So let's come out of this and go into pattern mode. Okay, so let's copy that so that I've got some backups here. And I'm going to use poly mode to record some chords over the top of this drum loop so it's really easy to do all you have to do is start the pattern in record mode 
and you can go straight into chromatic by just doing shift four like usual i'll just turn this down while i explain a few things so you hit shift and four i'm in chromatic mode and you can see the record measures show up on the screen here so you've got that and you've got your click track as well and also when you're in this mode just to point out you can hit record again and you can rehearse so if i just want to play around and see if i can get some ideas Okay, and let's say I'm happy with that now, so let's go to record. Now you can see you can just press exit to come out of that mode and now that's submitted to the pattern. So I've pressed exit, I'm no longer recording. So if I play back that pattern now, let's hear what that sounds like. Great, that's captured everything perfectly. So what if I wanted to go back in and layer some stuff? So you can do that as well. So if you do record, 13 record and I'm going to go back to chromatic mode again and I'm going to go into rehearsal and I'm going to try and overlay a few things and see what it sounds like and then I'm going to submit it to recording so I'll do that all in one go So there you go, you can overlay stuff as well with different takes and really build up things and create some really interesting effects. Obviously this beat that I'm making is nothing serious, it's just purely to show you guys how this works, but you can already see that ideas can become much bigger and much more interesting with not too much work now that we're able to use this chromatic mode with the pattern sequencer. So let's just see quickly if we can get that legato mode working with the pattern as well. So I'll copy this empty drum loop again and I will need to come out of this because I want to select a different sample now. So I want to select this sample and I'm going to go back into pattern mode. I'm going to hit record, 13, record. And let's rehearse this and we're in legato. Okay, so there you go, there's legato mode working in pattern mode as well. Now imagine if you were putting delays and reverbs on those pads or those samples, you could get some really, really trippy and interesting effects. So there's so much scope with this now, it really, really is a good update. And yeah, we were all crying out for it, so it's really good that Roland listened to us and put this in. So that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to walk you through chromatic mode. I hope that shows you everything that you needed to know. If there's any questions about this topic, use the comments below to ask that. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget that I do rely on you guys to keep me going with this so if you want to support what I do by buying a beat pack or a t-shirt or supporting me in any other way check out all the links in the description below there's loads of ways you can do that that would be really really cool if you could check those out but apart from that guys keep making beats and I will be back with more content very very soon peace